Forget Tesla, forget Toyota. A single Chinese automaker just built a car that can travel 2,000 kilometers, which is three times farther than your average gas car and nearly double the best Tesla can do. This is not science fiction. It is already rolling out, and it could redefine the EV industry. The breakthrough comes from BYD's Tang SUV, a hybrid vehicle. The EV industry was locked in a familiar battle with Tesla fighting for dominance, Toyota pushing hybrids and startups trying to survive. Then, BYD announced a car that can travel 2,000 kilometers on a single tank and a single charge. That is not just a record, it is a total rewrite of what was thought possible. The craziest part is that this is not a futuristic prototype but a vehicle already hitting the roads. The average gas car has around 700 kilometers of range, and a Tesla may offer 500 to 600 kilometers before needing a charge. BYD has effectively tripled that range. So how did they achieve this? How did a Chinese automaker leapfrog Tesla, Toyota and everyone else in one move? It comes down to a brand new fifth generation hybrid system that rewrites the rules of efficiency. At its heart is a modest 1.5 liter petrol engine. On paper it looks ordinary with just 99 horsepower, but it runs at 46% thermal efficiency, the highest of any mass-produced engine on earth. For comparison Toyota previously held the crown at 41%. BYD shattered that record by running 240 combustion experiments to perfect the fuel mix, testing 100 cooling methods to prevent overheating, and raising the compression ratio to 16 to 1 to squeeze more power from less fuel. The result is a hybrid that sips just 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers when the battery is depleted, using nearly one-third the fuel of a normal car. However, the engine is not even running most of the time. The electric motor does the heavy lifting with the petrol engine designed to shut off whenever possible, only activating in what BYD calls its high-efficiency zone. This means no wasted fuel in traffic jams or pointless idling. Buyers can choose between a 116-horsepower motor for economy or a 215-horsepower motor for more power, allowing drivers to pick their own balance, an option most hybrids do not offer. BYD did not stop at the engine. They redesigned the entire powertrain. Seven components once scattered across the system are now integrated into a single controller, saving space, reducing wiring and cutting energy losses. System efficiency now reaches 92%, whereas most hybrids barely cross 80%. With a 70% boost in power density, the system is lighter, stronger, and more responsive. Now let us talk about BYD's real weapon, the blade battery. Instead of using nickel and cobalt like most EVs, BYD built its future on lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, which is cheaper, safer, and does not rely on fragile supply chains. The innovation lies in the design. The cells are stretched into long, thin blades packed edge to edge with no wasted space. This results in a 50% higher energy density compared to traditional LFP packs, allowing for more power with less bulk and more room for other components. Safety is another critical advantage. The blade battery passed the nail test, an industry nightmare scenario where a steel spike is driven through the cell. While other batteries may catch fire, BYD's blade battery showed no fire, no smoke, and no issues. They also reinvented the cooling system, using an S-shaped layout instead of a T-shaped one, improving temperature control by 45%. The entire pack remains stable, runs longer, and resists wear. This strategic advantage is really compounded by BYD's relentless focus on aerodynamics and overall efficiency. Models like the Chin-L and Seal-06 feature these active air intake grills that actually seal shut when cooling isn't needed, which, you know, significantly reduces drag. Further innovations include low-drag brake calipers and ultra-low resistance tires, each one designed to shave off fractions of friction. Even the body itself was reshaped for smoother airflow, stretching the range without any changes to the fuel tank or motor. Perhaps the most disruptive element here is the price. These technological breakthroughs are being offered to buyers at an astonishingly accessible point. The Chin-L and Seal-06 start at just 99,800 yuan, which is about 13,700 US dollars, and even the top-tier models are capped around 139,000 to 149,000 yuan. This really stands in stark contrast to a Tesla Model 3, which starts at over 231,900 yuan in China, or a Toyota Corolla Hybrid at 135,800 yuan. In a move that almost defies industry norms, BYD did not raise prices for this new generation, 
the latest models cost the same as their predecessors while offering vastly superior range, efficiency, and a redesigned platform. Where most automakers would market this as a premium breakthrough, BYD has passed the savings directly to the consumer. This market shift is happening at a pretty pivotal moment. Global growth in pure electric vehicle sales is slowing down, largely because charging infrastructure just hasn't kept up with demand. In 2024, plug-in hybrid sales in China surged by 85%, while sales of battery-only EVs grew by just 12%. This trend honestly plays directly into BYD's strengths. While Tesla is facing challenges including significant job cuts and struggles to sustain growth, BYD sold 1.27 million vehicles in the second quarter of 2024 alone, compared to Tesla's 443,000 deliveries in the same period, really solidifying its position as the global leader in new energy vehicles. So, this is the new reality of the automotive industry. Tesla, well, they bet everything on pure electric vehicles. Toyota, on the other hand, hedged its bets with hybrids, but honestly, they've lost the scale and innovation war to BYD. Legacy automakers like Volkswagen are still, you know, playing catch-up. But BYD, however, is now the one to beat, delivering the longest-range hybrids, the safest batteries, and the lowest costs, all at a mass-market scale. They're no longer just a participant in the race, they're actually defining the track itself. This dominance is not accidental, but really, it's the result of a vertically integrated empire that very few competitors can match. While other automakers rely on a complex web of global suppliers for things like batteries, semiconductors and motors, BYD manufactures nearly every critical component in-house. This control over its entire supply chain insulates it from the price volatility and shortages that often plague its rivals, allowing for relentless cost reduction and rapid iteration. The company's strategy, you know, extends way beyond just passenger cars. BYD's electric buses glide through cities worldwide, its forklifts operate in warehouses, and its energy storage systems are stabilizing power grids. This diversified approach actually creates a powerful symbiotic ecosystem. Advancements in battery technology for cars immediately benefit its energy storage division, and economies of scale from manufacturing components for commercial vehicles drive down costs for consumer cars. This is not a company that simply sells cars, it's building an integrated electrified ecosystem. Faced with this challenge, the responses from established giants have been slow and honestly, fraught with difficulty. Tesla is pivoting to a more affordable model, but its timeline, well, it still remains uncertain. Traditional automakers are scrambling to form alliances and share technology to cut costs a process that is often cumbersome and frankly, tends to dilute brand identity. Their existing factories designed for the century-old paradigm of internal combustion engine production require billions in retooling just to compete with BYD's hyper-efficient EV-dedicated production lines. The question is no longer if BYD has changed the game, but how permanent its lead will be. The company is now executing a global offensive, building factories in strategic markets like Thailand, Brazil, and Hungary. These localized production hubs will allow it to circumvent tariffs, reduce shipping costs, and tailor vehicles to regional preferences, directly challenging local incumbents on their own home turf. The era of incremental improvements in range and efficiency is over. BYD has triggered a phase of intense foundational competition. The future will be won not by who has the most recognizable brand, but by who can achieve the ultimate synergy of efficiency, safety, and cost. The roadmap for the next decade of transportation is being written, and for the first time in modern history, a Chinese company is holding the pen. Putting it all together, the record-breaking engine, the hyper-efficient hybrid system, the integrated powertrain, and the revolutionary blade battery, you get a car that sets a new standard with 2,100 kilometers of range. That is the distance from Beijing to Shanghai Paris to Rome or Los Angeles to Denver without refueling. This is not just an upgrade, it is a reset button for the entire EV industry. The question now is, if BYD can deliver this kind of performance today, what happens to Tesla, Toyota, and Volkswagen tomorrow? Right now, BYD is not just competing, they are building the roadmap that everyone else may be forced to follow. In this new era, the future of driving appears to belong not to Silicon Valley or Tokyo, but to Shenzhen.